another video. I was gonna make a story time this week, but I recently got my nails done. And Lord have mercy. Usually when I get my nails done, it doesn't cause me um any stress or any strife, but this particular nail set has caused me a lot of pain and a lot of strife. So let's get into it. Let's get real close up to the nail you know, situation. Come on, come on. Let's zoom. I know they're black, but like, let's not be crazy. Am I gonna have to do that fucking YouTuber fucking hand bit? Okay, probably because they're black, they're not showing. That's right. Well, I got one gray nail, all right? And it's got some little designs or whatever. Okay, so this is what happened. Usually I go to one place, everybody knows. I go to Cascade Nails. Um, and that's like always my go-to place, but she recently had pissed me off with my last nail appointment, the nails that everybody loved with the blue and everything. Yes, they're still blue underneath the nails. Um, <clears throat> when we were all the way done with the nail set where I'm almost like out the door, she literally breaks the first nail and had to start all over again. So I was like, I need a possible break from this woman. So my mom found a really nice nail shop and she was like, I want to surprise you and I want to take you there. She is to this day still apologizing and this just happened on Saturday. So it's Wednesday and my mother still feels bad. So we go into this place and I'm excited. It looks really nice. First of all, strike one. We walk in. There's no sign outside that says before you enter you have to have your temperature taken. It just says no mask, no entry. But I always have a mask with me and I always have my mask on so no problem. I walk in with my mask and immediately we're greeted by no! 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 Back up! Back up! Back up! And we're like what the fuck? Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. And she's like temperature! We have to check your temperature! And I'm like oh, okay. So she checks my temperature and she's like, you're good. She checks my mom's temperature. She's like, you're good. And I said, my mom's not saying she's going to come back and pay. She said, okay. So we sit down and she's looking at my old set, which was the blue set with the seahorse, with the gold seahorses, with the seashells, with the beautiful, like it was immaculate. Like I may have some strife sometimes with my former nail tech, which I'm clearly going to go back to after this shit, but she can do a bomb ass job so she was like so you like designs and i was like yes i like designs very much actually so whatever you think you can do do that girl like i trust you because i'm one of those people that i'm not extremely picky and i know that everybody can't do every single design that you see on instagram so usually for a first time nail tech or when i'm going to a nail tech for the first time i should say i always let them wing it and do whatever you want on my first two nails before i'm comfortable with what you do and then i like go full out you know so she's like we'll do for you it'll be really great it'll be really special and disclaimer really quick, I'm not going to do any offensive ass accents. Y'all know how nail tech sound. There's too many videos on the internet of people making fun of Asian accents. We're not going to do that here. So anyway, she starts filing and she's like, what kind of paint is this? And I was actually, actually it's dip. So if you need to find a way to take it off, I don't mind waiting longer. And she's like, no. On these two fingers, I had five um, nail jewels, and they were little gold seahorses. They're still on there. She didn't take them off. She didn't try to attempt them off or even try to file them off. She left them on there. She left them on there, and the nail themselves are low-key chunky. Chunky. I love a chunky nail. No the fuck I don't. Anyway, then I had some charms on my thumb and she kept drilling and drilling until that flicked off. And she just kept looking at my nail like what the fuck, what the fuck. So she asked me what color I wanted even though I told her in the beginning I wanted black and I want a tapered um, coffin square look. These ain't tapered at all. Homegirl did not file. I have been using my nail files to fix the nails because they are not filed the way I want to at all. 
Some don't even match each other. Some are fatter than a motherfucker. I just, okay. And I'm trying to be polite because it's the first time thing. We're also in a pandemic. So they're doing us a service for even being in their nail salons. Like I'm trying to be very, very positive. And then I had to stop her because she nicked the bitch's pinky. She was so with the fucking thing. And she said zip on my fucking pinky. And I went, whoa, chill out with all of that. And she said, what? And I went, you're being a little rough with my hand. I'm going to need you to calm down. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then did like that. <laughs> and just laughed at me and then kept going. Meanwhile, my mom's in the car because she's not allowed to sit in. Okay, then the manager comes up, who's clearly the owner, and she's like, oh my god, you have such long nails, I've never seen such long nails like that before, oh my god, look how long your nails are, proceeds to take my wrist, without my permission, I was not ready for this, takes my wrist, starts waving it around the salon, to be like, look at how long her nails are, look at how long, I've never seen, and I snatched my wrist away, and I was like, can you not, that makes me very uncomfortable, oh, I just wanted to show everybody, a lot. well, can you not, can you not? I don't know if it was because I'm the only nigga in this salon, but girl, I am not your fucking show pony. I am not Seabiscuit, okay? Huh. I'm already, like, getting to a six, okay? So then she leaves. This bitch is still drilling to hell because she's not going to remove the blue. We've already seen that. She's not going to renew the blue. I needed two nails fixed. These two nails. She puts the new nail thing on. She barely fucking clips the file. She does some half ass file and puts the, the fucking overlay on. I forgot all the terms and I went to beauty school and I should know this. But forgot all the shit. Just doing that, laying it on, doing this. Here comes this woman again. Do you have husband? No, ma'am, I do not have a husband. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't have a boy. Why do you care? Stop asking me. Leave me. Alone. And what's worse is, I have both of my AirPods in, so I have to pause my music to respond to your ass because you don't know. You're not asking the white girls this. Why don't you go fuck with them? Leave me alone, okay? So then my nail tech is like half ass laying her shit, you know. Now she would ask me if I, I have a boyfriend. Or if I, did you not just hear your boss and me respond with no? Do you have a boyfriend? No. Do you have a husband? No. Do you want one? No. Can you, first of all, can you not ask me these invasive questions? Because if I don't like kids on TikTok asking me this, then what the hell makes you think I want you asking me this? I said, ma'am, can you just stop and focus on my nails, please? And she went, oh, well, I just like to talk to my clients. Well, I don't like to talk at all. So then she starts painting. And I'm sticking my hand under the thing, and she's painting, she's painting, and then I'm thinking... She gonna pull out the design shit, right? And I'm like huffing and puffing because I want to fucking leave because the girl behind me who's also a nail tech, first of all, four of them had to sit around me to watch her do my nails because they're so long and they're so crazy and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my, I don't like this much fucking attention when I want to do something calm and serene for myself. So, the nail tech behind me is constantly bumping my chair, bumping my chair, bumping my chair every time she get up. As if the bitch don't know that somebody's sitting behind her. Oh my God. So then she paints all the nails and I'm constantly sticking them under, sticking them under, sticking them under. So then I stick my hand out like, yeah, she's about to slay me with this design shit. Bitch puts cuticle oil on. And then she puts lotion on me. A pair of massage, I say no. She went all done. I was like, what? In the beginning, you said you were going to do design for me. Where? Where is the design? So I'm, I'm almost near tears. Not because I don't have a design. Because I have been harassed. I have done this. We're doing this. Y'all picking up my wrist. Y'all doing this. Y'all want to crowd me. So I get to the front. And it was the cheapest price that I've probably paid for my nails since I've gotten my nails done. Thank God my mother didn't spend an arm and a fucking leg because this isn't even where I want it. So, but I'm trying to be like one of those people that doesn't throw a public fit during a pandemic 
One, because I don't want to go viral on the internet for that shit. Two, because I know essential workers, y'all going through a lot right now. But three, bitch, don't say you're going to do a service and then not do that service. Okay. So then I'm out in the parking lot. My mom's like, what's wrong? You look like you're about to go there. And I'm huffing and I'm puffing. And I'm trying to like not. And then just the tears. And I'm, I'm huffing and I'm puffing and I can't breathe. And I'm like, oh my God. And then I had to take my mask off. And I just sit down. Because I can't breathe now. And I want to cry. Because I like getting my nails done. It's something simple that I like to do because I do my hair myself. I do my makeup myself. Hell, I buy fake lashes so I can do that myself. But the one thing I like to get done myself is my nails and do some kooky design shit and then go on by my business. The one thing you said you were going to do, the one thing that you fucking hyped up before you even fucking started was you was going to do that design shit and you ain't do none of that shit. So now, my mom had to drive for 20 minutes to go find me somewhere to get my nail design. And the woman was so nice. This woman was so nice. She was finishing up a girl's nail. She said, oh, honey, I'll be with you in a second. And then the manager comes over. He wants something to drink. He wants some water. No, I'm fine. My mom got her toes done while she was waiting. Then the manager comes over again. She rubbed my back, and she goes, she's almost done. You, you, you can sit over there in a minute. Tiniest fucking space. Tiniest space. But they were way more polite, way more professional. I go and sit with the woman. She says, oh, you have such beautiful long nails. But let me try to fix some of them. She's trying to fix this bitch's file job. Even she's confused. Like, what? Then she pulls out all these pretty glitters and these stones. She was like, would you like a flower? Like, you know, I know you're on limited time right now. And I was like, you know what? Do whatever you want. I don't care. She got so excited. And she gave me these nice little dashes, these nice little lines, these nice little marks. I love what she did. It's fucked up when she's having to cover up blue because the black didn't cover it enough because this woman half-assed it in the first appointment. Like... This woman literally did everything she could, gave me this really pretty flower, like I really like the flower. And gave me a nice little stone in the middle. Like I personally think I'm gonna just go there to get my nails done next time or I'm gonna go back to my original regular woman and just deal with the crowdedness and the kids screaming and her daughter asking me a million fucking questions about my TikTok because no nail appointment should make you huff and puff and cry. No nail appointment should bring up your anxiety. No nail appointment should the woman be holding up your wrist, waving it like this, doing it like this. I, like, you know, y'all like to make jokes about, oh, you got a boyfriend, you got a husband. But no, I, that shit has never been fun to me. Don't ask me about my life. Ask me how I'm doing today. Ask me, and I'll ask you how you're doing. Oh, has it been busy? No, not really. Oh, has it left me regular life shit? Don't be invasive. Like, it was just too much. It was all too much. And I just, so I had to come home and do my hair. Because I was so fucking irritated with my nail appointment that I had to change my hair. You know that's fucked up when your hair appointment agitates you so much where you're like, let me do something for myself that I know I won't fuck up. So now I'm blue and purple. Because other people doing services for me don't know how to do them unless I do them myself. So... Guess I'm gonna have to buy a nail kit soon, cause you bitches something else out here in these streets.